What's up everyone and welcome back to the comms channel. This is going to be part three of the series where I show you how to build your own WizBlock solar box or mesh test. In this video will be flashing the device, then getting the device configured and working with the mesh testic app. So hang around and we'll get into it. We're approaching a restricted area. Restricted area is one mile west. Once we got everything put together, the first thing we'll need to do is flash the firmware onto the device by following these steps. Download and install this program called TerraTerm. I'll include a link to it in the video's description. This is a tool that'll give us console access to the WizBlock. Then we'll need to download the firmware by going to the MeshTastic website, which is MeshTastic.org. Once you're there, click on the Downloads link on the menu on the top left of the page. On this next page, we'll scroll, scroll down to the bottom and click on Download Stable, unless you want to experiment with the newer versions with potential bugs, but most people just need the stable version. Now this will download a zip file. Go ahead and unzip the zip file and you'll now have a folder with firmware for all of the supported devices. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and get the WizBlock ready for the firmware update. Next we'll need to figure out what COM port the WizBlock is on. You do this by clicking on the start menu and typing in device manager. Then go ahead and open that up when you see it. Once you got the device manager open, look for a section called Ports, COM, and LPT. Once you've found that section, uh, open the tree up if it's closed, so you can see all the COM ports. You may not have anything, or you may have one or two. Just take note of what you see there currently. And once you got that open, go ahead and connect the WizBlock to your computer via the USB-C port. But before you do this, make sure you do have the antennas connected as this powers on the device. So once you have that hooked up to the computer, you should see a new COM port appear in that section there on the device manager. Take note of this COM port number, and this will be the COM port that we use in TerraTerm. Now let's go ahead and open up TerraTerm by clicking on the Start menu and start typing in TerraTerm. Then go and open it up. In this first screen here, we're going to change this to the serial option and then pick the COM port that we determined from the device manager. Now you may not see stuff showing up on the screen like you see on mine here. Don't worry if you don't see anything just yet and continue to follow along. So click on Setup, then Terminal, then set up the New Line section with CR plus LF for both the receive and transmit and then click on OK. Now click on setup then serial then leave everything as is except for the speed. We're going to make that 115200. Then once you have that just go ahead and click on new setting. Now that we have TerraTerm configured and ready to go, we can set up the WizBlock. On the WizBlock, you'll notice a button beside the USB port. Hit that two times quickly and you'll see a new flash drive appear on the screen. We first need to do a factory reset flash and in that firmware folder that we unzipped earlier, you'll see a file named MeshTastic NRF52 Factory Erase. Drag and drop this into the external drive that appeared in the previous step. And then after doing this, the WizBlock will reboot and we can go back to the TerraTerm screen. And we should see a screen like this when the device boots back up. And hit enter and you should see formatting done. If you just see a black screen, try clicking on it and hitting enter and then you should see formatting done. Uh, once you see that formatting done, the device is flashed back to factory and we're ready to flash the latest MeshTastic firmware. To do that, just push the button on the device again twice quickly. Then the uh, external drive will appear again with the same files we saw earlier. Now you just have to drop the MeshTastic firmware to that drive and the firmware for this device should be named firmware-rack4. 
4631 dash and then the version number that you downloaded. There is one with a similar name for devices with e-ink displays that will have e-ink in the name. Avoid this one unless you're using that e-ink version. And after you drag and drop, the device will load the firmware. It will then reboot and then you're done. All right, with the MeshTastic app opened for the first time, you'll be presented with this screen. You can, you can review this or just hit skip if you want. So the first thing we'll need to do is connect to our WizBlock over Bluetooth. So hit the plus sign. You'll have to accept the required permissions for Bluetooth. Then hit allow. And here you'll see two devices pop up. This KevM is uh, another device I already set up previously. But this MeshTastic E512, that's the one we just uh, did. So we'll select that. There we go. So this will pop up and you have to pair to connect. Now these have a default pin of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you just hit OK on that. Pairing completed, starting service. All right, so first thing we need to do is, as you can see here, it says you must set a region. So we'll go ahead and do that. Tap on region and select whatever region you're in, which I'm in the US here. Once you do that, it's going to reboot the device and you'll lose connection and if you see that cloud on the top right with the check mark if you see that then you're connected and now you see it has a cross through it that means you're disconnected and that's because the device is currently rebooting once it boots back up it'll reconnect so here we are we're back and connected back to it so another thing you'll likely want to do is change the name so I'll just call this Kev base I believe that also requires a reboot so we'll see what what happens here yep alright and we're back on and it has the new name now so first thing we we'll want to do is on the top right you got the three dots. Go ahead and tap on that. Go to radio configuration. Next thing we we'll want to do is go to LoRa. And if you scroll to the bottom there, you'll see this uh, SX126XRX boosted gain. What this does, this increases the receiver's sensitivity, so that should get you more range. However, that does use more battery. It, I believe it's just slightly more, so you'll probably want to do some testing just to make sure that works for you. But if you, if you can, that's a good thing to go ahead and turn on, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. The rest of the stuff is fine, so I'm going to leave that as is, and now that I've made that change, I'll hit send. And once you do the send, that also reboots the device. So we'll wait for that to connect back. Okay, so that has connected back now. If we go back to the configuration here, you can see there's a large number of different things you can mess with, and that's beyond the scope of this video I may do another video go on more in depth into some of these but what we've set just now is enough to get you up and running now communications are encrypted by default but this is with a default encryption key so anyone else that has a meshtastic device if you stay on that default encrypted uh, channel they can also join in and read any messages. So if you want to have a like community thing, that's fine. If you want to restrict it to just you and a group of friends, 
you would go fourth, uh, fourth menu screen here with the thing that looks like a signal. So this here is the default encryption that comes loaded on there. If you want to change that, you would change the name to something else. And then you would go and hit save. Then after you do that, you would share that barcode, or not barcode, but QR code with the other people you want to, to join your encrypted channel. That'll do it for this video, but in the next video we'll be doing some range tests with our new setup here. And hopefully you found this video informative and useful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thank you all and have a good one.